Here we go with the next bout in the super middleweight division. Nice local matchup here. Joe Gardner in the blue camouflage shorts coming out of the red corner from Woonsocket, Rhode Island. 9-5-1 and one with one knockout. 6 feet 1 inch, 166 pounds. He's 36 years old. His opponent coming out of the blue corner in the black and red trunks. Alex El Fuerte and Paro from Providence, Rhode Island. 5-0, and oh, three knockouts, standing at 5 feet 11 inches. Two, short, two inches shorter than his opponent, Gardner, and weighing 168 pounds. On October 18th, Alex Amparo had a huge win here at this very Twin River Casino when he knocked out Nick Lavin in the second round. That was a rematch of their fight about a year before that in which Amparo won by a majority decision. Hotly disputed decision. Nick Lavin thought he won the fight. Amparo gave him the rematch and knocked him out. Actually, check that. It was in the fourth round, fourth and final round, that Amparo knocked him out. But he really looked the best he's ever looked in his young professional career in that bout. Gardner on that same card, won by split decision against Philip Burnett. And now you see Gardner pushing Amparo into the neutral corner there. Alex, a fighter who's going to want to control the pace of this fight. He has that long left jab. Gardner really sporting a thick beard here in this match. Joe Gardner here at this very casino in Lincoln, Rhode Island. Four and two here in Lincoln. A year and a half ago, he won the New England USA title against crosstown rival Keith Coslin. And Paro, 4 0, undefeated here at Twin River. Certainly get a great fan base here, fighting just outside his hometown. He lives in Providence, Rhode Island, just a few miles up Route 146 here from Twin River Casino. You see Empire getting the crowd on their feet, and Joe Garner comes right back with a nice right hand. Gets Aparo up against the ropes, and Aparo battles right back. Aparo, a former collegiate pitcher, born in the Dominican Republic, moved out here to Rhode Island. Pitched in high school around here, then went down to Louisiana Tech, played Division I college baseball, moved back up, and finished his college at Johnson and Wales, and now here he stands in the ring with Joe Gardner from Woonsocket, Rhode Island, from the Woonsocket Boxing Club. See both fighters right now having a lot of fun. The crowd's into this fight. Two Rhode Island fighters putting it all on the line here at Twin River. Both guys have had a lot of success here. And you see Empire right now fighting with his hands down by his waist, almost to taunt Joe Gardner. And Joe not phased by it, still coming forward against Alex. And a big punch there by both fighters. But they both landed, and that's the end of round number one. This is a scheduled sixth round fight. Gardner again in the camo in the red corner. And in power, you hear the fans chanting Alex's name. He's in the blue corner with the black and red trunks. You see head trainer Jose Santos from 401 Boxing and Chucky Sullivan talking to El Fuerte in the corner. Don't let Gardner's record fool you, 9-5-1. and one. He's been in with some of the better fighters, not only around here in New England, but in the world. He fought Sean Estrada, who was 11-0 at the time out in California. He's also been in the ring with Brian Barboza, 29-6. Elvin Aiello, 21-5. And, and Vladin Biasi, 14-1. Those are some big names in boxing. No shame in losing to any of them. Gardner started his career off 4-0-1. Took seven years off, didn't fight again until 2010. Since then, he's been five and five. Now 36 years old. Going for his 10th win, which is a certain milestone for every fighter to get to double digits. And he has his chance to do that here against El Fuerte. And you see him starting as the aggressor in this round, throwing those long hooks to the body of Alex Amparo. Pyro stepping up his competition for sure here against Joe Gardner. And he has two wins over Nick Lavin. The combined record of his opponents, 
four and six. This is the first fighter that he's fought with this many fights. Gardner, 15 pro fights already. So certainly a big step up in not only competition, but in experience here. And Joe Gardner, hats off to Alex Amparo for taking this fight. Yeah, Joe Gardner looking to be the first fighter to give Alex Amparo a loss. Another tough fight here for both guys. Hats off to Rich Capiello, the matchmaker, and the promoter Jimmy Birchfield Sr. for putting these fights together. Last fight we saw two undefeated fighters go at it. Now you see an undefeated fighter fighting a guy with much more experience than he does. And that's something that you really only get on a CES boxing card in the special Thursday night boxing series that really spoil the fans here of not only Rhode Island but New England who all come out for these classic fights. Minute and a half to go of round number two. Gardner throwing a lot of punches in these first two rounds. Definitely impressed with his endurance early on. Pyro stepping it up here to a six rounder. We'll see how his endurance is. A life insurance salesman by day, worker for Allstate. Boxer by night and on the weekends. And now you see Alex not only doing his hobby, but his passion here in the ring in front of all of his closest friends and family here at Twin River. A big right hook. The fans certainly get excited about. Don't think it hit the way the fans thought it did. Regardless, a nice punch there by Empire. Now you see he has Gardner up against the ropes. Gardner wisely moving in close to tie up with the aggressive Empire right now, trying to steal this round in the last 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to go here. Empire. Shrugging off that jab and coming back with a big left hook. Parra certainly likes to lead with that punch, and that was really the punch that did it against Nick Lavin. <laughs> Only five weeks ago in this same very ring, you hear the pro and Parra crowd cheering, but Joe Guy and his fans are no slouches either. They will be heard throughout this fight. Take a deep breath. How are you feeling, all right? You gotta get busy. Here, corner man Teddy Panagiotis telling Joe Gardner that he got the first round, second round's gonna be close and stay busy. Let's listen to Teddy here. When you get out of the way, make him pay. Stay a little, stay a little. Listen to me now. You never listen to me before. He's keeping right hand up. All he has is the hook. Keep your right hand up. Here we go with round number three of a scheduled six-round bout between El Fuerte, Alex Amparo, and Joe Gardner from nearby Woonsocket, Rhode Island. Two of Rhode Island's more popular fighters putting it on the line here for CES and promoter Jimmy Birchfield. You heard Joe's corner, Teddy Panagiotis, saying that Joe got the first round, the second round is close. And it's not what his corner thinks, it's what those three judges think. And we've seen certainly many times around here where fighters thought they had the decision and tried to coast through the last few rounds. Joe Gardner certainly not one to coast, so don't expect to see that here. And Paro in the black and red trunks. Joe Gardner in the blue camouflage shorts. Again, you hear Paro's corner getting loud and his fans getting loud. They want him to be the busier fighter. Joe's corner told him to stay busy and even get busier in this round. Joe's doing a good job of blocking those wide left hooks there of Amparo. He's able to duck out of them when Amparo does get his back up against the ropes. Joe Gardner, one knockout and nine wins. 
He's been knocked out in three of his five losses. Zapata misses again with that wild right. Paro 5 0 with three knockouts. He literally has a knockout in every other one of his fights. In those five wins, he has a knockout in fights one, three, and five. Alex Agaya used to weigh 218 pounds. He was driving by Jose Santos' gym, stopped in to get a workout. And here he is, just a few years later, weighing 168 pounds as an undefeated fighter here at Twin River Casino. Gardner now getting busy with a power up against the ropes. Gardner sticks the left jab there on Amparo. Here the crowd here in the final 20 seconds. Trying to get Amparo, get a little busy. In close fights like this, the last 30 seconds couldn't make or break the judge decision on the round. And right now, both fighters are not doing anything to really steal this round as Empire tries to land a few punches. Gets a few in there on Joe, but Gunner did a good job of tying up until that right hook there by Amparo. And the fans were so loud, I don't think either fighter heard the bell ring. We're going to head over to Alex Amparo's corner and listen to Chuck Yacelle and Jose Santos. As soon as you get to the ropes, that's the only time he's seen off. You can't throw punches when you're in the middle of the ring. Right. You can't do it. He has fully got you in the corner. All right. Stay out of the corner. Get the place in my head. Please, bro. I'm right out. Listen, I like when you're just here. Set for another three minutes here in the center of the ring. Joe Guider and Alex Amparo. You heard both corners telling their respective fighters to stay busy. This is a close fight. Neither fighter has really done a whole heck of a lot to lead this fight. It's really up in the air at this point. Round four of a scheduled six, literally halfway through this fight. And it's anyone's match to win here in the final nine minutes of action. A pyro again with his hands down by his waist. Not showing much respect there for Gardner's power. It looked like he almost let Gardner hit him with jabs and then finally came back with his own punches. But he's gonna be careful with shots like that that he doesn't get caught. And you see him lunging forward with a left hook. The Empire is trying to make that his bread and butter punch in his young professional career. Gardner doing a great job of stopping Empire from landing that. But if he does land that, we saw what happened against Nick Lavin. It's a monster punch, and Empire can really pack a lot of power into that. Gardner has three times the experience on the younger Amparo, 15 fights to five. Again, Gardner going for his 10th win. Milestone victory here against Amparo, who's going for his sixth win. Joe Gardner, a guy who certainly hasn't been afraid to take fights against another hometown fighter. We've seen him in there with Keith Coslin where he won the New England title. Saw him in the ring against Vadim Biasi. And some other Rhode Island fighters from around the area. Joe Gardner not afraid to fight with opponent fans, booing him on every punch. The power tries to come out of the crouch there with another hook. This, there hasn't been any knockdowns in this fight yet. It's certainly been an active fight for both fighters, an entertaining fight for the fans. Aparu and Gardner are certainly exchanging shots up against the ropes and changing position.
final 25 seconds of round number four. Aparo has never gone past the fourth round. Gardner certainly has in a few of his 15 pro fights. Now Gardner doing the same thing to Aparo with his hands down by his waist as he switches stance back to a orthodox stance. Gardner turns back to his corner, raises his hand. He certainly thinks he has that round. Beautiful, that was beautiful, that was perfect. You hear Gardner's corner saying, it's their fight now, their fight to win or lose. Perfect round. Now you fought off point. Dead time. See the yep. difference though? No corners, yep. and we win the round. Right. Beautiful. That okay. was beautiful. Perfect round. Okay. So here they're in between rounds, the corner for Joe Gardner saying it's his fight to lose now. He's out ahead on the scorecards, according to his corner. And it told him to keep the fight out of the corners. That's where Alex is most dangerous. And that's certainly what Joe did in the last round. He didn't allow himself to get backed up against the corner pad. And you heard Teddy Panagianis, the cut man for Joe Gardner, say that Alex was certainly tiring out. And now you see Empire covering up as he heads back into the corner. Endurance has never been a problem in any of Alex's fights. But again, this is uh, some pretty stiff competition he's facing in Joe Gardner. And the body work in the last round, pretty tight there by Joe. So we'll see if that has taken a toll here on Imparo as Joe's corner believes. As of now, this is the longest Imparo's career has ever gone in a fight. His first six round contest. Already passed round number four here in round number five. Pyro continues to go to the body as you hear his corner yell, beautiful. Across the ring you hear Jose Santos in the corner for 401, telling El Fuerte to be aggressive. They're trying to come back with a big shot there and almost work Gardner in the corner, but Joe using pretty sick defense there to get it back to the center of the ring, which is obviously the game plan for Team Gardner and the Winsocket Boxing Club. Now Gardner has Empire in the corner. See if he can reverse tails here as Empire covers up. Gardner continues to be the more active fighter. Both fighters fought on October 18th. Less than five weeks ago here in this very ring, both fighters were victorious. Gardner with a split decision win over Philip Burnett from South Carolina. And Paro with a fourth round knockout win over Nick Lavin. Both fighters felt so confident in their respective victories. They were ready to dance here again. On uh, this very date, here they are exchanging blows in an entertaining fight for not only the Gardner and Aparo supporters, but for boxing fans in attendance. Jimmy Birchfield spoiling the fans of New England here with this fight card. The fifth installment of the Thursday night boxing series here at Twin River. Fight fans in the era usually Treated to fights on Friday or Saturday. Here they are on a Thursday night. Don't have to wait till the weekend. Jimmy Birchfield and CES bring it to their fans a day earlier than the weekend as round number five comes to a close. Heading into the sixth and final round between El Fuerte, Alex Amparo, and Joe Gardner. Let's hear what Jose Santos and Chucky Sullivan have to say to El Fuerte.
Fuerte, Chucky Sullivan, and Jose Santos telling Alex that he needs a knockout here to take this victory and stay undefeated. See the fans sitting ringside on their feet cheering on. Providence's Alex Amparo against Winsaka's Joe Gardner. In between the fourth and fifth round, you heard Gardner's corner saying he had the fight, he just had to get through the next few rounds, and then you heard Amparo's corner saying he needs a knockout. Pretty much confirming what Joe Gardner's corner had to say. So we will see here if that is the difference in the fight. A knockout for Amparo must happen according to both corners. Joe Gardner's been the busier fighter. He's had, for the most part, very well executed defense. And Amparo trying to connect with that left hook. Seems a little wild tonight. Coming off a big momentum win against Nick Lavin, a rematch that he certainly thought he won the first fight. He won by the score on two of the three scorecards, a majority decision. Gave Lavin the rematch and proved in the rematch that he was a better fighter, earning a knockout win and really dominating the fight from the first bell until the knockout punch. Now you see Gardner in the corner. This is where his corner did not want him to be. Referee Danny Schiavone steps in and separates the fighter. Gardner wisely steps out of the corner. You see Empower now throwing a wild right, almost landing. A big power punch there for Empower as he really swings those ones from his hips. Hasn't been able to connect yet with that big punch on Gardner. And Joey really just staying active and staying inside on Amparo. And when he stays inside, Alex is going to have trouble getting those wide hooks out. Connects, he does connect there with a nice jab. And Gardner puts his hands behind his back and then comes back with a one-two combination. One minute to go in round number six. Still to come tonight. Shalito Vincent and Peter Manfredo Jr. The headliners here of Jimmy Birchfield's card titled The Pride is Back. 40 seconds to go. Paro missing again on those hooks. And Joe Gardner doing a good job of getting his backs against the rope and ducking and sliding his way out of those punches. And Pyro has had trouble connecting on those because Joe's just, he's pretty good defense to get away from them for the most part. 15 seconds to go and Pyro needs that big punch. See if he connects, he only has a few seconds to do so as Gardner and a power type separated by Schiavone. Under 10 seconds to go. And a power does throw that left hook, doesn't connect. And the two fighters embrace after the fight. Six rounds are in the books. The first full distance fight of the evening. First time we're gonna have the judges go to the scorecards here at Twin River. Joe Gardner certainly celebrating with his fans and looking at his corner. High-fiving fans sitting ringside. He's pretty confident he has this fight. And Paro in the other side of the ring, not so sure. But again, in this fickle sport of boxing, you leave it up to the judges, and you do just that. You leave the fight up to the three men on the high no, stools, and we will see no, which way they go. Do they go with the 36-year-old Joe Gardner looking for his 10th victory as a professional fighter? Or will they give it to Alex El Fuerte and Paro, 5-0 and as a professional? They either improve to 6-0, and remain undefeated, or get his first loss of his career. We saw earlier the Vermont bully Kevin Cobbs suffer his first loss. He was 6-0, and and he suffered a knockout loss in the second round to Tylon Burris. Will this be the second undefeated fighter to lose here tonight at Twin River. We are moments away from the ring announcer, Bill Carpenter, to announce the winner. Again, both fighters getting victories five weeks ago in this very ring. Amparo with a fourth round knockout. Gardner with a split decision victory. 
And it looks like Bill Carpenter has all three scores from the judges. Will it be Alex Amparo or will it be Joe Gardner? Let's send it down to the center of the ring with Bill Carpenter for the final decision. Ladies, after six hard-fought rounds of boxing, how about a nice hand for both fighters before we go to the scorecard? Alex Amparo, Joe Gardner. We go to the judges' scorecards for your official decision. Judge Wayne Lima scores the bout 59-55. Judges Don Trella and Dr. Clark Sammartino both score the fight 58-56. For your winner by unanimous decision, Joey Gardner. Gardner.